The state of Maine has set some ambitious goals to address a serious lack of housing. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Chris Costa and I'm Zach Blanchard. Governor Janet Mills says she hopes to create more than 84,000 homes and rental units by the year 2030. But as a new report explains, where that housing is being built is key. New Maine's Caroline LaCour joins us now in the studio to explain. Caroline. Zach, Chris, the state of uh, Maine housing production needs study has been released on a routine for the past couple of years for folks to get a better understanding as to where we are in terms of progress towards those goals you mentioned. While there have been great strides towards creating more housing stock, some counties are being left with little inventory. The 29 page report was released Tuesday by the Maine Department of Economic and Community Development alongside state partners. It outlines the next steps needed to meet housing deadlines as the state deals with a severe shortage of housing. State leaders say building permits will need to increase by 77 to 94 percent each year to reach housing goals in the next five years. The report notes work needs to be done statewide, but Washington and Arista County stand out, with Washington needing a 1,200% jump in production between now and 2030. The report estimates that county will need between 21 and 2,300 units of housing. Right now, a rustic county produces around 90 units each year. That number will need to reach at least 1,800 to meet the state's goal. This report also explains a couple of strategies to reach those production goals from breaking down cost barriers, supporting initiatives to increase the amount of workers in Maine's construction sector, to shifting local attitudes about affordable housing developments, something state leaders say has been delaying progress. In studio, Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine. All right, Caroline, thanks so much.